Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Devraj, and uh, thank you again for uh, joining us uh, in this very, uh, very different session uh, today, uh, which is uh, not sure uh, uh, about the Sure Network products and how does it work, uh, you know, with uh, or on Dante, you know, which is from Ordinate. And uh, speaking a lot about Ordinate and Dante uh, here would be our guest today, uh, Gusto Marcondes. Uh, uh, who's uh, who's uh, obliged to join us uh, with us? Uh, join uh, be with us today. Uh, so, uh, without any further ado, uh, I would hand over the session to Gus. Uh, I know, guys. Uh, you know, it is it is a, 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 a streaming session, like you have always you know seen us do. It is a webinar, so uh, you know, please uh, you know make it as interactive as possible. Once you see the content, once you once you understand about Dante. Uh, any questions, please put, uh, you know, put in the Q&A window that you have uh, on your screen. And we'll also do some polls in between. Uh, Fali is helping us, you know, moderate this session uh, behind the scenes. So uh, just a quick recap again, because it's been a while that we, we all met. Uh, so, you know, with that, uh, no more uh, no, uh, uh, disturbance again from me for, for a while. i will let uh, Gus take for Gus over to you. Thank you for joining us. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this wonderful Sure Talks within my pleasure. My name is Augusto Marcondes, but please call me Gus. That's the best way for everybody in the world to call me. Once more, thanks for dedicating a little bit of your time to join us today in this very open chat about audio over IPs. So, of course, thank you, Devraj, and thank you, Fali, but overall, thank you, Sure for being partners with Audinate across the entire globe, providing wonderful solutions that run on the Dante network. So guys, this specific webinar is to bring you from the analog world to the AVOIP world, or audiovisuals over IP standard networks discussion. If this is the first time that you are interested and you are here to learn more about this welcome but maybe you have already heard about dante you have already seen the word or our logo dante in some gear that you may be using so if you guys are from the live sound broadcast installed av verticals of this enormous industry this is the right place for you to get to know more about and of course we after we can also answer some of your questions this is a condensed webinar but i hope to be able to bring you up to speed hopefully you guys can see the screen that i'm sharing now this is our open chat about the evolution of digital audio networks partners with audinates are sure specific for the indian market right now so once more here you have our not very beautiful pictures of the host, Mr. Devraj Panika from Market Development on South Asia, and myself, Gus. I am the technical training manager offering this kind of webinars in this current situation. But of course, as soon as possible, I will be joining all of you on trade shows and in-person events. So before we start, I just want to tell you who we are. So Audinate is the name of the company behind Dante. So we started in 2006 in Australia. Actually, there were some networking engineers with a lot of musical and music production and audio skills, and they asked themselves, why are we not being able to connect musical gear, audio gear, musical instruments as computer networks do? So the idea behind the protocol, the de facto standard protocol of the entire AV industry today is interoperability. The idea is that you no longer need one million different cables. You don't need different digital audio protocols. You can run all your gear no matter what brand, including, of course, the top, top, leading technology sure manufacturer to any other manufacturer 
in this world. So maybe you have your preferred mixing console, you have your preferred this or that, but the good news is with Dante, they all communicate nicely and perfectly. Audinate works together with the manufacturers to provide the best module that goes inside each product from tiny little microphones all the way up to speakers, 128 channels, consoles, and so on. Okay, so the Dante technology involves a lot of things. Some of these things are for manufacturers. So right here on the top of the screen, let me go back. The top of your screen, you maybe can see one of these beautiful Dante modules. So this is nothing more than a chipset or a board that goes inside the product. These can be very small, as you can find in some Dante microphones, or very, very big. And that's also the new release of the Dante application library and Dante embedded platforms, which are, in other words, the enabling Dante as software. So be aware that in this AV industry, you may find Dante physically as gear, as Dante cards, as Dante speakers, as Dante anything, but you will also start to see Dante as a little icon in any software that you use, be it for conferencing, for live sounds. So Dante technology can be hardware or software. And of course, in these other screens that you can see here, we have the Dante user interfaces. On the top right of your screen, actually behind all the others, we have a screen capture of Dante controller. So the Dante controller is the main tool is a free software and I wish you all guys have at least one Dante controller installed in your laptop, in your desktop, in your PC, in your studio. Please go to audinate.com right now or actually right after this webinar and then you can download it for free. The other softwares that you can see here are paid but then they will offer you a service. While Dante Controller is necessary for you to do patching, renaming the devices, saving your presets, the other, the other applications are paid, but not too much. Actually, if you, pay, if you buy Dante Virtual Sound Card and Dante Via together, you can have also a very good discount. And basically, each of these other software will give you a service. Very quickly, Dante Virtual Sound Card enables your computer to become a Dante device, and you can record or play back multi-track channels for your live session. Maybe you are a drummer, you need your metronome in one ear, the rest of the band in the other ear, or you want to do playbacks of multi-track channels according to each specific application. DVS, Dante Virtual Sound Card. The same goes for multi-track recording. So it's a service that enables your computer to talk to the network from sending or receiving audio channels. All of this in super high quality, uncompressed PCM up to 24 bits, 192 kilohertz. So it's super high definition. The third one here in the line is Dante Via. Dante Via is similar to Dante Virtual Sound Card. However, instead of transforming your computer into a multi-track playback or recording device, it transforms each application inside your computer into a specific Dante device. So you can have, for example, iTunes, sending two like two track stereo audio for the Dante network. You can have uh, your favorite conferencing software like Microsoft Teams or BlueJeans or Zoom or any of these other software that are installed in your computer. They can rec be recognized by Dante via and send or receive Dante audio from the network. 
This is also possible if you want to integrate physical hardware like a Dante microphone, like a new Dante speaker, by sure we will talk about this today, with any software that you have in your computer. So Dante Via is, in my honest opinion, a very, very easier approach to a big Dante network. I would say that if you just want to do some simple stuff, Dante Via is perfect for you. If you will then be getting to enterprise size network, then of course the Dante controller and the Dante virtual sound card will be your best friends. Okay? Further down, this beautiful black screen with some of these speedometers as we have in our cars is a screenshot of Dante Domain Manager, or as we friends can call him, DDM. So the Dante Domain Manager is the super controller that goes on top of any Dante network, be it a live sound, broadcast, commercial installation, doesn't matter what vertical of the industry. You can have DDM, Dante Domain Manager, as the boss of your network, controlling each and every access with password security, with history logs, with alerts. Basically, you can be at your house and you can receive an email if something happens to a specific device at the room number 103, something like that. So with Dante Domain Manager on top of any Dante network, you have a machine working for you and you can literally receive alerts, you can have controlled access for each specific domains, which are kinds of groups of devices. Basically, guys, we do a lot for you to use as a user, as a company, as a manufacturing. Audinate provides a lot of services for all the people in this AV industry. If you guys want to know more, I invite you for the complete Dante certification. By the way, there will be a poll today asking you what level of Dante certified are you? So if you are level one, this is of course the more basics. Level two is a little bit intermediate concepts, talking about redundancy, talking about presets. And the level three is of course talking about mixed networks. So if you guys are interested, I invite you to join us at audinate.com forward slash certify. That's the portal for the certification program. With no further ado, guys, in one sentence, Dante is hardware and software that transports precisely timed digital audio between devices on a standard IP network. Hey, Gus, please help me. This is a big, big sentence. So let's read it one by one. Dante is hardware and software. You can buy Dante gear. You can buy Dante cards. You can buy any product from millions of, of options in the market that are Dante enabled. Or you can have Dante software running on your computer. Or as I said, with the new Dante application library and Dante embedded platform, other manufacturers can develop their software with Dante in it. That's the first part. The second part is transports precisely timed digital audio. This is a whole lesson about clocking. And if you guys are interested in understanding how Dante does clocking, which is a perfect synchronization across thousands of devices on a network, I invite you to go to the certification as it's too much for a quick webinar. And the last part is through standard IP networking. That part means that Dante interconnects devices in normal IP or IT infrastructure. So you don't need a specific uh, cable, you can use your average CAT5E or CAT6. You don't need a specific switch 
a specific router you can use any switch that is available in the market they will work with dante so this big sentence here dante is a hardware and software solution that transports precisely timed digital audio between devices using standard ip networking this should be your new mantra dante is da, da, da. and then we go okay so this is the sentence that explains everything that we do moving on we are very proud to announce that over 450 manufacturers from which i may say the top three are sure and 2.5 thousand so 2500 different products available in the market and according to our numbers there are already sold 1 million dante devices so if you guys have already seen one of those be happy if not you will start seeing lots and lots of dante devices everywhere that's good it's kind of a it's going viral all right so Dante devices, my dear friends, can be in many things. These pictures here show you, for example, some of the Shure devices on the top line here that are Dante. This means that if you connect one to the other, or if you connect them all in a switch, they will form a Dante network. This means that you can stand and receive audio from any one of these no matter where they are a network concept means that everybody's connected to the same spot to the same switch actually on the lower line you see for example mixing consoles that are entry level up to big big broadcast mixing consoles so basically with the money of the last one here on the lower uh, right part of your screen you could probably buy everything else that is illustrated in this presentation what i mean is no matter the budget dante is there if it's a system that doesn't require much of a of a bestial hardware then you can also use dante I, in other words, this slide shows us that Dante can be used in all the sections of the verticals of the market. How did we get here? So this is the part of this presentation where I will kind of get your popcorns and let's tell you a, a, a kind of a brief story. Do you remember how life was before digital audio? So when it started, everybody was asking themselves, will digital sound as good as analog? Maybe we could spend a whole day talking about the differences between MP3, 320, KBPS, and vinyl, but this is not what we will address today. What I want to point out is that some things, some actions were not possible before digital audio for example rapid instant access to electric uh, instruments electronic instruments non-linear editing on your preferred digital audio workstation pro tools steinberg cubase logic carrying lots and lots of song of songs or entire albums in your pocket Imagine how life was before you can be able to transport your music on a small device. Or even more, if you guys are professionals, as we most here are, imagine how hard it was, or remember how hard it was, to carry an analog mixer, an analog compressor, analog EQ, analog uh, the eco chamber or something like that these days with the digitalization of audio we can process audio super fast in no space in one single microchip you can do hundreds and hundreds of tracks real time with eq compressor etc 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 
So please, let's break the taboo between analog audio and digital audio. It's the same taboo that sometime we broke between ringing the operator calling, hey, I want to speak with somebody in that town. Of these days, we send audio messages, video messages. So please bear with me that there are so many things that were impossible to do. For example, think about how hard it was to carry audio on an analog point to point multi core like this one you see on your screen. Cleaning these cables, trying to troubleshoot any noise. My God, where is the noise? Is it in channel three, channel four, channel five? Wiring these stuff meant everything that you plug onto channel one will be only on that channel one 50 meters away. So one analog multi-core scenario would look like this, a very, very chunky cable coming from uh, the stage to the front of house mixing place or going through the walls. If you guys are from the installed or from broadcast, remember how hard it was to go through a wall with such a thick cable. Then some manufacturers try to implement their own digital audio kind of transmission protocol. This was interesting. So what you see on your screen now is an analog to digital converter on one side and a digital to analog conversion on the other side. Some of these manufacturers used ethernet cables already, but it's very important for everybody to understand that on a digital multi-core, as this one that you can see, or many others, what you have here is not a network. They are using Ethernet cables because Ethernet cables are the best cables to carry data, zeros and ones, binary information. But that doesn't characterize a network because you're still a point-to-point. -point. It's an analog conversion to digital. Those digital information carries one cable just from one side to the other. Okay, so what changes? The only thing that changes from an analog multi-core to a digital multi-core is the cable thickness. But still, it's a little bit of pre-historical uh, backgrounds here. Look at what Dante brings to the, the game. Dante, it's in some parts similar to a digital audio multicore. We use ethernet cables. We are carrying digital audio. However, Dante brings many more features for your system. The first of them is interoperability, even with the all evergreen enemies apple and windows so for the first time in the av industry mac and pc integration more interoperability across hundreds of manufacturers even more you can split so think about how much splitting we use and think about how easy this is with dante you can literally have, guys, unlimited splitting. You can send all tracks from the stage to the front of house, another split of the original sound, pre-fader, pre-processing, to the monitor mixer. So he can put whatever he needs, whatever the singer wants. I always mention singers because singers are the people who want their monitor in a very specific way. Nobody cares about the bass player. Anyway, think about installed AV. You can have one chairman talking and that same audio going to the board of directors, to the staff, to the warehouse, to a recording uh, machine, 
you can stream that all in high ultra quality audio. So unlimited splitting is one of the best features. The second one is scalability. With Dante, you can still bring more and more and more devices. We have never reached the limits of a Dante network because literally we are kind of prepared for something like 65,000 devices connected in the same network. So this is kind of a huge, huge airport. And even so, to this date, no installer, no live sound system has reached the limits of Dante. We challenge you. So scalability, keep on bringing. And once more, I am originally from Brazil. I live in the UK now, but I was born in Brazil. I'm also a musician. But most of all, I come from a very, very poor country where sometimes you need to buy a device today and tomorrow you will sell it to buy a better one. So with Dante, this is a built-in feature. The Dante networks will still be here for a long, long time, which means that the Dante device that you buy today can still be sold for another person, another brand, another customer, in 10 years' time. It will still work, which means that this protocol came to stay. The manufacturers, together with Audinate, we still bring firmware updates every month, for example, making sure that all the improvements are there. So I particularly like this feature because it gives us peace of mind. If you need to invest right now, Think about already buying a Dante device. It will only help you now and in the future. Okay, so these are just some of the highlights of what Dante brings. But now, da -da -da -da, look at how the Dante solution system, we are here using a live festival or something like this, but imagine it for your own application. Look how it can grow. So first of all, I told you about unlimited splitting. So all these devices here are connected to the network. Also, you can connect your Dante controller through Wi-Fi. You will learn on our certification that still now, we don't support Wi-Fi for audio transmission, but we support Wi-Fi for control. So you can control your system walking around with your portable device. Look at how this system can grow with time. The one mixer that you used to use for the front of house, you now sold it to another company, you bought a bigger one. Or you are repurposing that device, using it as the monitor mixer. Then comes the broadcast truck with the video team. Then your festival now needs a VIP green room area. Then you now are playing backing tracks of somebody that came with a Dante virtual sound card on a laptop. Don't worry. As long as you are Dante, you can still bring more Dante devices to the network. The idea here is that Dante is a big, big family where everybody can join the party. As long as you are Dante, you can speak with other Dante both hardware and software. Okay, so this picture here shows us how things can easily scale. And that's what Audinate wants for your company. We want you to start using this protocol because we know that you will grow and we are right there to help you, support you with this, okay? So the main thing is that digital audio networks enables us professionals, artists, uh, manufacturers to do things we could never imagine doing before. You will see how Sure is taking a great, great advantage of using Dante for a top to bottom product line. I love it. Let's see. The more, the faster, the better. Very, very quick comparison with other audio over IP systems. 
this is a kind of a very unfair graphic here, okay? But if you guys have already worked with other systems, you remember some names like Cobranet or Ethersound or Madi. These other audio over IP systems, they exist. Some of them don't exist anymore. But basically what they had was a limitation in terms of the amount of audio channels. It's also fair to say that some of them were specified for smaller networks or lower networks. When we say 100 megabytes per second, bytes per second is a speed. So it's fair to say that some protocols were created when the network infrastructure was slower. That's why they only can handle uh, 64 by 64 channels or 32 by 32, only lower resolutions as well, so lower sample rates. What Dante did is Dante already envisioned the one gigabit per second speed, allowing 512 channels in, 512 channels out per device. Okay, Gus, hold on. I have a microphone. My microphone has only one channel. Okay, okay. Hold on. It's all good. So if your device has a Dante module inside that is a small module that can do maybe two by two, four by zero, which means four transmitters and zero receivers, that is a small Dante module. That will work fine. Still working nicely. But think about bigger, bigger and bigger uh, DSP mixing consoles, amplifiers, multi-track recorders, multi-track players, or systems where you have uh, hundreds of speakers. Think about Dante as being able to transmit and receive up to 512 channels of in, 512 channels outputs in each link, which means that on a one gigabit per second cable, just to make things easier, a thousand channels can go on the Dante protocol. So this graphic here shows us a little bit of this, okay? But of course we are not expecting your microphone to send so many channels. We are actually expecting your microphone or even a large mixing console to use just a little bit of the full speed of your cables or of your infrastructure, which means that you can add Dante to any network. If you guys are installers, it's easy to add Dante to an existing infrastructure network, which means that we are not going to use a lot of the bandwidth that is already there, which means that the IT department of the company will like you because you are not obstacling his network. You will not flood the network with your Dante protocol. This is something that I want you guys to start thinking about. If we can use just a little bit, means we are more efficient. And that is the efficiency that the Dante network can add to any other network. We, we can be filtered. Do you guys know what I mean? Fine. If not, let's go to the Dante certification and do this in another moment. Carrying on, I want to tell you that together, all these devices are strong, and also together with other manufacturers and together with also other kinds of protocols. So if you have already heard about AES, this is an kind of an organization that gathers audio engineers. They also are researchers of audiovisual over IP protocols, but they are not a company. Dante is owned by a private company. Actually, we are publicly listed on the stock markets, but we are a company. I, I work for Audinate. 
That means that some other protocols will be like recipes, will be like the theory of how to bake a pizza. And Ordinate is the pizzeria, okay? So I like to use this metaphor just to tell you that we, yes, we work with other protocols. We work with open standards. Open standards are not owned by a company, but we provide you the service, the support, we provide you the updates, and we don't tell you how to do, we do it for you. So this slide here is just for the people who may be asking if Dante works with AES67 or the video protocol called SMPTE. The answer is yes, but we support all of these things on a higher level. So we require you to have your Dante Domain Manager installed if you want to work with all of these other protocols or with simple AES67 products. Only with the Dante controller you can also work. There is a whole white paper talking about this on the Audinate website. But if you want, go to Google, type in Dante, SMPTE, and you will be able to find it right away. The information on this slide is, yes, we work with other protocols. They actually are becoming the way to get into the Dante networks as well. Interesting point, oh, it's, it would take us an entire other day to talk about this. Moving on, in the network, everybody is connected. That is the basic thing. Everyone has a voice, so everybody can be heard. This is what leads me to bring you to how we used to do things before. So this picture now shows you how many different cables we used to have for a simple studio. This is kind of a recording uh, system. You would have the BNC cable coax for clocking. You would have a specific uh, RS-422 for remote control. You would have USB for uh, the send or receive or reception of your digital audio from a digital audio workstation and so on. Now, everything is with the same kind of cable, only Ethernet cables, which means easier to purchase. Of course, if you're buying more of the same thing, you can save money. Easier to assemble. You don't need to be checking what cable is what. Any cable that you already have will work. This means that we are making the life of the live people, broadcast installers easier. Not by using existing infrastructure, but also by buying more of the same cable. You, you buy cables for the run, for the length. So the same cable that you can buy 200 meters of, you will pay less. So think about this as uh, saving time and saving costs scale of the Dante network. Okay, have a look at how this can easily scale. Imagine you have a big festival with three stages and then somebody comes with an OB truck. I used to work for the Rio de Janeiro Carnival, so I know a little bit about big festivals. And this is something very, very common. You have three, four, five stages. You have two, three, four different uh, broadcast trucks. And then sometimes there will come the journalist that will announce, hey, we're now having here the Rolling Stones on stage rock. But they don't want the multi-track. Actually, they want a submix of the band. Sometimes they just want a mix of the vocals, just to have a little bit of tiny more punch. I don't think there are still any broadcast companies working in mono, but some companies in some countries are still working on mono signals for a television broadcast. Some others are working on surround sound or Dolby Atmos, which are the thousands of channels available if you wish. So the idea here is that 
think about the Dante network as everybody can have everything or anyone can have what they want what they need that's why i tell you that scalability with dante is a vital skill of our system okay applications to all the industry verticals as i told you you can have it on live broadcast on broadcast or, or live sound entertainment but i'm going to show you now some of the ideas of a professional system of a professional dante system on to conferencing okay so imagine a room that you have your screen where the far end is calling in you have your local board of directors this of course could be a classroom think about uh, the coronavirus implications we are going to have more and more remote meeting it's like you need to remote yourself you need to be present being socially distant so on this system here what you can see is that the microphone is installed on the ceiling and there are specific microphones that are smart that you can even move a little bit and they will follow you forming a beam kind of a focus that goes wherever you are the speakers can be better placed so this implies also in an algorithm called acoustic eco canceling sure has a great one for you internal wiring means everything is clean tidy and neat participants with a microphone right on top of the table they are speaking very close to the microphone instead of having one microphone on the webcam that sounds very roomy very reverberant so with a professional audio system over ip you can have full control of your audio system even being outside the room this is interesting think about you know hygiene regulations that we need to speak through a, a face mask or something like that. Wouldn't it even be better if you could control everything that is in a room without even getting there? So this is the advantage of using audio system over IP. Everything is in the network. Everything can be controlled remotely. One more thing to say about using a switch. So a switch is a network piece of gear is that most of the Dante devices can also be power supplied over Ethernet. That is that little POE acronym. So if you want to work with Dante devices, it's also interesting that you work with POE switches. Then you can also save in energy, and also you can save in power sockets everywhere. So it's a whole lot of advantages for you, okay? So of course, we are talking about big systems that you need to have control. Imagine how this can scale up to three, four, 10, 20, 30 rooms. That's when Dante Domain Manager comes to place. So everything is manageable by the IT department. Everything can be separate or also joined together. So maybe you can do from two, three rooms the same meeting, all of them sending and receiving ultra high quality audio. No longer you will need to try to understand what the people says. You can focus on the decision that you need to make. That's only possible when you have a professional audio over IP system with Dante, of course. You have security, only the access uh, with password. So Dante Domain Manager is a whole thing that you should get yourselves accultured by going to Audinate.com or following one of our upcoming webinars, okay? You will be able to do what we call layer three routing. For people who have never heard about this, don't worry. Layer three routing means that 
you can have your Dante networks in different subnets. So as they are in different subnets, they would be separate. So you can have one subnet that is for the first floor of your building, another subnet that is from the fifth floor of the building. Even so, with Dante Domain Manager, you can send and receive audio from different networks. This is great because you still have security. You still can limit who will have access to which devices, but you can send audio, which is what we are talking about today. Okay? So basically, with DDM, you will have a machine working for you in terms of organizing, securing, and registering every single action that happens on your system for further you know analysis if you want to troubleshoot something the ddm platform will keep a history of every single change in your system it's a great great tool i may admit so now i would like to call in my colleague devraj panika for us to understand how sure has taken a lot of advantage bringing products bringing solutions and using Dante as its best. Up to you, my friend. Thank you, Gus. Uh, thank you for a lot of great uh, insights. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people on this uh, session uh, uh, would have found some uh, some new information about you know, the origins of Dante, uh, you know, where does it come from, and how uh, how has it been how has it been there in the non installed uh, segment because you know mostly uh, we have uh, different verticals the one that the one fully had we had a lot of people from the pro world I'm sure right now we have people from the installed and systems world as well which is basically conference rooms and uh, something that you see on the screen right now is one of the meeting rooms so uh, just to summarize you know what uh, gus mentioned is that dante makes uh, a lot of things a lot easier when it comes to deploying audio uh, you know in a, in a in a in any environment right so same happens with the meeting rooms meeting rooms need uh, audio setup you need to install the microphones you need to install uh, the processor the dsp you need to install the the speakers for output and that's how you the better you have that kind of an ecosystem in place the better is the experience uh, the better is the the quality of that meeting productivity etc cetera, etc cetera. So uh, I'm going to basically, you know, take you through some examples of uh, you know, how Shure's audio ecosystem leverages Dante and makes, uh, you know, uh, giving that experience uh, a very easy, uh, you know, uh, making it a very easy experience, right? So this example right now is uh, a small room wherein, you know, you can, uh, all, the, all the audio ecosystem that you see is basically the table array microphone, the MXA310, uh, the uh, uh, the Intellimix room, which is a new software DSP we launched, uh, and the, the network ceiling speaker, right? Uh, so this is a setup which can be used in a small room, which is basically running uh, a BlueJean session or a team session or a Zoom session, right? So all these uh, soft codecs uh, can leverage the quality of the hardware in that place without actually having to go for a a uh, full-fledged rack, right? You don't see a rack in that room. All you see is a, a PoE switch, which is basically powering up you know, all the audio ecosystem in there. Uh, and it's basically a simple USB interface that is uh, you know, enabling all the audio to go in and come out uh, from that uh, the PC. Uh, coming to another example would be a medium-sized room uh, in the next slide wherein uh, you get to see a slightly bigger setup. So, you know, you, uh, you still have the, the, the conceptually the same ecosystem, the microphone, the DSP, the speaker and all in place, but again, it is to be made more ergonomic, more, more usable to the larger audience in that room. So here you see the, the newer array microphone, which is the MXA710 linear array. Uh, again, going into the Intellimix room uh, software DSP, uh, and the output, you know, uh, from the from the PC or the soft codec is coming via uh, via the uh, Dante interface uh, over the network and going to the ceiling speakers. 
Uh, all this again, uh, no rack required, all powered over the network, powered by the PoE. And it's basically just a con uh, an optimized combination of software and hardware, which is basically giving you that same great experience. One additional component on the network, although it has nothing to do with Dante, uh, is the, the new network mute button also. So you basically not only are able to have a visual and audible experience of that meeting in a very, very simple uh, installation, but also you have some kind of a control also, uh, which again doesn't demand any other kind of uh, cabling or something. Again, all that can go to a single, a 10 port switch is good enough to you know, power on uh, this room with still leaving some ports for troubleshooting or not connecting anymore to periphery. If you move to a larger room, let's say a large board room, which uh, again, Gus was also giving that example. Uh, no, again, that can be covered in a different way or in a more more flexible fashion with ceiling array microphones, uh, the nine tins, and the combination of the ceiling speakers. Uh, it can be again a software DSP, or you, it can be a hardware DSP like uh, the B three hundred. Right. So all these hardware and software, they're all designed to uh, understand Dante uh, and also allow you to make uh, life easier when it comes to uh, installing an audio complete audio ecosystem in any kind of room environment, uh, whether it is small, medium or large, whether it has a soft codec or a hard codec. Uh, in all these environments, you have this flexibility uh, of making or giving the best audio experience. Uh, and, and at the same time with very, very optimal investment, you don't have to go for you know, a very large uh, you know, rack based setup, go for all the cables, uh, all the snake cables, you know, pictures, scary pictures that uh, you know, Gus showed us earlier. So Dante has made that uh, much easier. We can send a lot of channels, like you know, he said up to 1000 channels can go over a single Ethernet cable. So this is what uh, we are sure are able to leverage uh, with our technology and the technology from Dante is to be able to capture the audio from any kind of room and put it on a medium which uh, makes it much uh, you know, much easier to maintain. Uh, it, it is very secure, uh, especially when it comes to corporate environments uh, and uh, traffic going over network. Uh, security is also very important. So, you know, uh, Ordinate has also ensured, uh, you know, having uh, options in place. Dante Domain Manager allows you to securely uh, el uh, you know, give that access to the right people in the right place and not giving full fledged access to every single equipment in the uh, in that campus. So you can control that uh, room wise so that the deployment is much controlled. Nobody can get access unnecessarily. And uh, you know it's it's basically locked. So once it is configured, set up, uh, you basically you know are uh, uh, you're free. Uh, so that way, in, in terms of installation maintenance, uh, this this concept of an ecosystem over a network uh, becomes uh, much easier. So uh, that's something you know I just wanted to summarize based on you know uh, what Shor has. Uh, you know, to offer uh, in its portfolio in terms of Dante. So you saw some of the wired uh, you know, installed examples uh, here. Uh, I do also would like to mention that apart from these pictures, you saw the products that you saw. Uh, we also have Dante capability on some of the you know, other products, especially when it comes to the conferencing and discussion uh, solutions. So you know, the, the microflex complete wireless, uh, and although it's a uh, between the delegate unit and the access point, it is a totally wireless connection. Uh, but from the access point, if you want to basically interface with another Dante product, so the access points uh, do uh, do support uh, you know, Dante. Uh, same goes for our Microflex wireless uh, uh, you know, microphones, the wireless handles or the wireless body packs, or even the boundary microphones. They also go to an access point which support Dante. So basically, all in all, whether it is a wired ecosystem or a, or a wireless uh, set of products we have, we have ensured that the interoperability uh, is uh, kind of seamless and uh, you, know, you are able to follow the same practice or the workflow uh, in most of our products that we are you know, offering for uh, the, the, the conferencing environment or meeting room environment. So that's what uh, you know, I wanted to add uh, to, to the session today. Uh, lots of great input from, uh, from Gus. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, uh, after hearing him, uh, whoever I saw some of the the, the poll results, uh, so I, I do see that a lot of 
uh, crowd uh, can use you know uh, there's a session which he does online also i guess uh, these days so you know do uh, do hop in for these dante certifications it definitely will uh, give you a lot of information and having those dante certifications also allows you to get sure certifications uh, you know and one step uh, better so you know we do ask in our sure certification we do ask whether you have covered uh, dante level 2 as well so in sure level 2 uh, one of the components is dante level 2 certification so we are all connected uh, it's basically the knowledge is also connected uh, you know irrespective of whichever brand it comes from irrespective of whichever technology it comes from it's basically the common goal is to ensure that you are aware uh, as to how does a solution uh, works when it comes to hardware and combination of software in the in the meeting environment so uh, with that i would uh, uh, just look if there have if there are any questions uh, in the q a window if uh, we still have 4 minutes so you know we can maybe uh, give it uh, give that time for the audience to put in their q and a if they have any questions uh, for gas or to me uh, please do you know shoot it uh, or you no know, you can reach us out to uh, our email addresses uh, you know the one that gas shared already or if you want to ask anything about sure you can write to india at sure.com and we would be happy to answer your questions there as well meanwhile we would uh, you know give it uh, a minute or two to see if there are any questions from the audience and i also see a poll is alive uh, which is the last poll uh, so yeah i mean that is uh, that is uh, something I, i i forgot to mention actually i i am speaking to you guys uh, using a 910 which is uh, <laughs> installed in my house on the ceiling and i was hearing gus all this while very nicely very uh, i was enjoying his session or anything uh, because of uh, Uh, the ceiling speaker also which is there so just to give you a quick uh, uh, quick feed of that i have on the camera which can give you that quick it's a, it's a bit of a, a non corporate setup but this is this is what my setup is uh, you're hearing me through the the 910 and i was hearing gas through the the ceiling uh, speaker so as you can see the single cable goes in single cable into the 910 and the uh, speaker and uh, they are back to a p300 right now and the p300 is connected to my pc over usb so this is basically my setup i just have uh, the p300 and the the switch which i don't even have a rag i just put it on a stool <laughs> at the moment so you know that's uh, that is that is my audio setup at the moment and and i have been able to use it by a free no microphones on me nothing to wear nothing to hold uh, and uh, you know Uh, that's that's how and i'm i'm and i and i'm able to have kind of a telepresence experience uh with the audio quality that i that i get uh, you know from these uh, speakers on the ceiling yeah thanks for uh, reminding that fully with that poll i could i could uh, recollect uh, you know t- talking about my setup here as well cool so let me see if we have any questions none as of now uh no worries uh, i think we are just about in the last minute uh, for today so i would like to thank very much uh, to gus uh, you know for joining us and uh, sharing all this uh, you know very nice information uh, about dante and about collaboration uh, between the two brands and i also do see a question okay i'll take that uh, uh, it i mean i'll, I'll uh, put that to gas uh, so the question from sudhakar is that is dante basic certificate uh, a free training absolutely so for my dear friend emadi sudhakar i want you all to go right now right after this webinar to odinate.com forward slash certify register for a free account it's no cost involved and do two things first download dante controller from the website so just for you to understand the ordinate.com and the ordinate.com/certify they will work with the same login details so just create an a, a username and password in any of these and then on the forward slash certify you can start your certification levels 1 2 and 3 completely free for you There are video lessons there that will aboard approach each of the top the topics or we also are doing 
because we need to stay at home some live webinars. The live webinars in English are also in our events calendar on the Audinate.com website. Another thing is, if you want, I just want to add this before we close this, please find me on LinkedIn, as I believe most of us professionals are there. So, Augusto, or just like put in Gus, Audinate, and I'm sure you will find me. And then you can follow the events that I'm always posting on my LinkedIn page as well. So that's it. Free training. And most of all, we are very happy that you guys now become Dante ambassadors as well. Bring in the analog people to the AV over IP world. Thank you, Dev. Welcome, Gus. Uh, so with that, uh, we are good to wrap up for the session for today. And uh, thank you all for joining us. I hope it was a worthwhile session for you. And uh, we hope to see you all soon in person, uh, hopefully. And meanwhile, please uh, you know, get yourself certified, uh, you know, up the game on your knowledge. And uh, hope to see you all soon. Thank you very much. Uh, have a good day ahead. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.